The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. So remember two, we're using the fact that uh, actually, this problem can be approached in two different ways, either thinking about it in terms of just the reference angle and what happens when you add pi, uh, or by using the sine addition angle formula. That's another way you can prove it to yourself. So I'm just going to go through the first method here. So keep in mind, on the unit circle, if you think about the positive and negative aspects of each quadrant, sine is positive in the top two, and it's negative in the bottom two. So keep in mind that when you have any angle, no matter where it is, and you add pi to it, remember that pi is 180 degrees. So essentially, you're going to flip it to the exact opposite of wherever it was. So if you have just some random angle here, and you add pi to it, now you're going to get that. So you should be able to tell that regardless of where you started, let's say even we started down here, now our plus pi angle is going to be up that way. No matter what, one of these lines is going to be where sine is negative, and one of them is going to be where sine is positive. That will always be the case. But since the reference angle stays the same, uh, remember that when you add 180 degrees, your reference angle is the angle from your line to the x-axis. It stays the same, it's just going into a different quadrant. So when you see sine theta plus pi, like that, really all you're doing is you're making it the opposite of whatever it was. This is going to be the same thing as negative sine of theta. So we knew in this problem that sine theta was one third, so this is just going to be negative one third. So let's see how you could do that also with the sine addition angle formula. Uh, here we have sine theta plus pi that's like sine a plus b. So when you do that, you're going to get sine theta cosine pi plus sine pi cosine theta. So that's sine a cosine b plus sine b cosine a. That's what you do for the sine addition angle formula. Well, the sine theta and cosine theta are dependent on the problem, but the ones with pi's are constant. Sine of pi is 0. So that makes that whole term 0. Cosine of pi is negative 1, so we just get negative 1 times sine theta, negative sine theta, exactly what we got here. So our answer here is just going to be negative 1 third, which is answer choice D. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.